What's up guys, um, before I start this video, uh, I just want to say sorry about the bad camera work because when I usually record with um, anything on an iDevice, I usually do it with display recorder, but with this tutorial that I could not find anywhere, just hoping it helps even one person out, um, whenever I use display recorder, it crashes it, so I have to use my phone and, um, Sorry about that, because YouTube's about to put me on blast. Probably say it looks like a potato or some shit, even though I did it with uh, my Galaxy. Anyways, so this is how to fix RetroArch. And by fix it, I mean, like, if you went into your settings and you tweaked it, and you're trying to adjust to get you the best graphics, best processor in it. So, look, I'll load my content. And the reason I did this was because I didn't like the way things looked. So I did it once, and then I uh, liked it. And, or I kind of liked it, but I wanted it a little bit better, so I kept trying to change stuff. And this happens. Boom. Crashes. So, for like... I was up pretty much all night till like 5 in the morning getting pissed off that I couldn't figure it out. And then I woke up this morning, and it was super simple. So, I don't know if anybody else is going to have this problem. But I'm just going to post it to save anyone, even one person sometime. And the reason I can't, I messed with the settings, and the reason I can't do change it in here is because it's missing one thing that allows me to access those settings. So, but look, I can still, and by those settings, I mean I'll show you with a different one. So like this. See, it still loads other game cores and ROMs. It plays pretty smooth. See, no lag or anything. Looks good. And, alright, so let me close out of that, and then I'll restart it. So the way... Oh, actually, I didn't even show you what I was gonna meant to do. So the thing, the menu that I meant to access, was this one. And to configure your cores and stuff, you need this menu. Otherwise, it'll crash every time, and you can't access it in the main one. Alright, so let me close the content. Okay, so to fix this, I don't know if anyone else has figured it out super easy, but I'm just going to show you guys. So you're going to go ahead and click Load Content, and don't click any of your ROMs. You're going to click Dot Recharge, and then you're going to click, uh, I don't know if you can do the top one, I've just been clicking the second one. The RetroArch Core Options, uh, SRM, and I've been clicking this one. And then you find your core that's been crashing that you fucked up. Mine is the Moopin 64. Oh, hey, my reflection. So, now you have just the, co um, the core. You don't have any games loaded or anything. And it's cra it was crashing because the game was trying to play and the settings were all tweaked. So, you're going to click the little Space Invader. And then, oops, I kind of click the little thing right here. So, now you get your menu in the core. So, let me switch that. So, then, core options. And then... Um, dynamic. This is my settings that I found that works the best for what I'm playing. So, dynamic recompiler, and then mine is GLN64. So, I press B, save new config. Alright, quit RetroArch. Now, load content Majora's Mask. Oh, there we go. Hold on, let me see if I can do something real quick. I'll just show you how smooth it is. And then I play with a PS3 controller. Now, um, everything runs fairly smooth. Oh, this is hard, the way I'm playing it. Yeah, I, I play this with a PS3 controller because it's way easier. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, I, I can't do it like that. I hate the touchscreen controls. Oh, there we go. 
Um, now, but this has nothing to do with RetroArch, so I'm pretty sure it's just a bad ROM file, and every file that I've downloaded this game is a bad ROM file, but watch. So I get to the thing I want, and, oh, this is what I was trying to fix. It freezes the Zelda screen, but it's only this game. If I do a different game, but anyways, it doesn't let me select items, so I can't continue on this game. So I'm pretty much screwed because I can't get this this teardrop from the moon to trade with the Deku Shrub. Like, Ocarina of Time, I can play no problem. But um, that's how to fix RetroArch, and uh, hope that helped anyone who sees it. Once again, sorry for the bad camera work. <laughs> Alright guys, have a good day.